All right, welcome back to the Buffalo Plus YouTube channel. Dan Fates, I'm Jenna Cottrell. We're here at Locker Cleanout Day, an emotional day here in Orchard Park. We're going to break it all down, uh, but before we do, if you enjoy our content, please be sure to like, comment, as well as subscribe. It is cold. a cold winter day here uh, in Orchard Park, and, you know, we talked to the Bills today, and I was struck by just how emotional the team is still after that season-ending loss to the Bengals last night. Yeah, Isaiah McKenzie, I think, was the most honest um, yeah. when he gave. he talked about feeling numb. That, that, that they've done this before yeah, and that here we are again at a locker clean out talking about what is it going to take yeah. to, to get this team over the hump. Um, and, and I think that's what we kept going back to it. And it brought back memories of Jenny and I, when we first started covering the team, they were in the midst of that playoff drought. Yeah. And every single year wow. it was the same exact story. Wow. I never thought Remember about that? it like, like that. Yeah. You'd be like, well, what's it going to take? What's it going to yeah. take to finally make the playoffs? And, and the, I remember after they finally made the playoffs and we got to talk to Eric Wood and he goes, finally, we don't have to answer those questions yeah. anymore yeah. about when are you going to snap the playoff drive? What's going to take? This is kind of, it's a different level. It's different expectations, but, but it's that same kind of feeling of what do you guys have to do? What needs to be added? What needs to be changed? To now get back, you know, to get to a Super Bowl, to get back to an AFC championship. Yeah, and I think you saw just, like, how much it felt like the team was hurting today. Yeah. I think they were all surprised the yeah. way yesterday went. And they even talked about it. Like, it was uncharacteristic in the way they lost, and that almost made it that much worse yeah. because of just how – seemingly flat they fell. I mean, Micah Hyde talking about it, Dawson Knox saying like yeah. the team kind of ran out of gas a little bit, which I think you could tell. Yeah. Um, obviously, a lot of adversity both on and off the field this yeah. season, but I think the team said that they will remember this group because of everything, right. but I also don't think, I think they really could have used it as an excuse, yeah. and I don't feel like they did. I, I personally don't no. feel like they did because you have to remember these are human beings, yeah. and this is a long season, and it stinks because the way they went out against the Bengals was just a completely a breakdown of all things. Um, but I think this team learned a lot throughout the process. But now it's going to be what changes are moving forward. Yeah, and obviously you're, there's there's overreaction, and, and I know some people are, are upset um, over Matt Milano's comment that, that we posted, just kind of saying that he said they felt like there was no energy, there was no juice, there was no momentum. And we asked a bunch of the players about that, and they all kind of said, like, yeah. They go, before the game, there was plenty of energy. Yeah. And that wasn't the problem. There wasn't a lack of energy in the week. He goes, when you get down 14 nothing, when you yeah. go three and out in your two opening drives, they march down the field. They go, yeah, and I thought Josh said it best. Oh. Energy, execution yep. creates energy. Yeah. And we didn't execute. Yeah. That's all you need to know. So, yeah. like, this isn't some, like, the team wasn't ready. No, they got punched in the mouth. And like I said, I thought, I can't imagine how difficult it is to stand in front of the camera and say, we got beat. We got out physical. We were, we, they, yeah. they, they crushed us in every phase of the game. We laid an egg is what Isaiah McKenzie said. That is tough for grown men that yeah. are competitive at that level to admit then that that's how their season ends. Yeah. So I don't think it was this lack of energy before the game or their preparation or coaching or anything like that before the game. They just got beat once the game started. I will say, I, I thought, we talked about this too last night after the loss, like Ken Dorsey, what's his job security like? Ooh. The Bills want to move on from him. And today, my thoughts changed. I and agree. After hearing what Allen had to say and the way he spoke so highly of yep. Ken Dorsey. I, very telling. We asked a lot of the players, especially on offense, what it was like to be with Ken and, and the growing pains of being a first-year offensive coordinator. They all kind of downplayed that, that like yeah. he wasn't a first-year, like, yeah, it was his first year calling plays, but like it, it, he's been around. We know him. We, we, we love him. And, yeah. and Josh was said, you know, recency bias is going to cause everybody to freak out and, and all these things. He goes, we did a lot of good things this year and that he loves him and respects him and that all those things, very telling. I, I was very I agree. surprised. I was very surprised. Well, Mike was kind of giving me pushback because I talked to him after, and he's like, well, you know, but they, they didn't take a step forward and all, all this stuff, which I, I agree, and I, I totally understand because literally yesterday I was saying, I think they might have to make a change. I, I don't agree. know if it's Dorsey, but just after hearing what Alan had to say and the way in which he had to say it, you can tell a lot about a guy's answer and how he feels. If it's a shorter answer, yep. a little bit more general, that probably means maybe you're not a yep. huge fan, whatever. You're just being, you know, classy and saying something without really saying anything yeah. but Josh went at ends talking about what Ken Dorsey does he says he FaceTimes him yeah. at 11 o'clock at night still in the facility still trying to come up with plays now does that mean it works that's another question but we said especially yesterday that if there was going to be a move made Josh was going to have to have a big hand in it yeah. and I don't think that you will see Josh run his car over Ken Dorsey yes I thought you know what I'm saying I 
I thought it was going to be very different, but after talking to the team today, I I now believe that they will stick more with Dorsey. Agreed. Just like the the short answer that Josh gave when he was asked about all the additions that had been made to the defense and that do you feel like you had gotten enough? His answer was, I love the guys that, that I play with and I trust all of them. Take that for what you will. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's going to be a lot of changes coming to this roster and this team. Uh, we're going to hear from Sean McDermott and Brandon Bean about it, but mm -hmm. um, there are decisions that have to be made. I will say it was interesting getting the perspective of Vaughn Miller, considering he's been in the position before of winning multiple Super Bowls. He talked about how it's actually harder losing after winning them just because you know what that's like. Um, you know what it takes, which I thought was an interesting approach, but I've uh, never won a Super Bowl. Breaking news here, so I don't know. Um, Is it better to have loved and lost than have <laughs> never, never loved again at all? <laughs> at all? Yeah, it's, like, I don't it's, like, oh, it's so tough when I've won it before and then you yeah. don't. It's like, oh, I'll still, I'll still take that hurt. Yeah, um, I guess. I, Jenna I, wants to work on her birthday. I want to work on my birthday. My birthday is January 29th. It's the AFC Championship. It used to be the Super Bowl. Whatever. I want to work on my birthday. Uh, I will say, though, he was talking about you can't get, you know, this team is close and that they're, the window is mm -hmm. still open. And, and all of these things talking about the work has to continue with this discouraging loss that happened. You can't have that have a essentially like a hangover into your offseason yeah. and the preparation that yeah. comes. I thought that was interesting. Just saying that you can't let this loss give them another loss in the offseason or a loss yeah. next season. you yeah. got to move on. Vaughn's always positive, eternally optimistic. Um, said that it was a nine-month recovery that he's going to go through. That puts him at August. He says he's going to be ready to go for training camp, all those things. Yeah. Um, the last thing I wanted to talk about, because it is very cold out. It's very cold. It's very cold. There's Matt Bove of 7 Eyewitness News. Wait, what does your jacket say? Big, oh, big Channel time. 7. Big, big time. Um, big time Bove. And I'll go off one of his tweets because I think it's spot on. Uh, the Stefan Diggs, Josh Allen drama. Um, I'm not buying it. I, I, I do agree that, it, that it's not a good look, but let's not overreact that all of a sudden he's a bad teammate. Yeah. Um, right. we've, we, we knew he was competitive. We know that a lot of – all these guys are competitive. Yeah. I'm not trying to, like, single one out. But he took an Uber to the hospital not three weeks ago to see Jamar Hamlin. And we all went, can't believe that. He's got to, I got to go in and see my brother. Yeah, like all of a sudden yeah. you, you think that like this surprises them. And Josh said like, his, he's competitive. Like, yeah. what are you going to say? It's an emotional game. And I think sometimes while you want people to handle their emotions in the perfect reactions, that's not always going to be the case. I was hoping we would hear from Stefan Diggs today. We did not, but would have liked that. Would have, would have, would have liked that. But uh, I don't think this is some huge Josh and Allen or Allen and Diggs are not great friends. And I don't think it's any of that. Nope. I just think it's a, it's a, it's bad optics and on a bad way to end the season. After a bad game. I, 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 there's not many other ways you can describe it. Okay, I'm sorry. We got to go. I'm so cold. All right. For Dan, I'm Jenna. Please like, comment, and subscribe what if you enjoy our set. Yeah. Okay. I'm cold. It is winter.